Am I... Am I being heard? Can anyone hear me at all? Anybody at all? Don't be shy, y'all. Nobody? Is anybody even here at all? I suppose that's probably, uh, useful. Kinda need people in order to make the stream work. Well, I guess you don't need people to make it work, but you need it if you wanna... You know what? I'm just talking out of my ass. I don't know what the hell I'm even saying. You know, as you do. Kind of just talk out of your ass until someone shows up and tells you to shut up. Um, let's see. There we go. So game audio's back up. Can anyone hear me at all? Anybody. Anybody that identifies as a human being. If you're an alien from Area 51, just make sure you're using a VPN. Look, five, six, seven, eight, we do not discriminate, you know? Hello, Ethan. Welcome to the stream. Uh, can you hear me at all? All right, perfect. It's an all cap, so that's how you know it's legit. So excited for PAX. Me too. Honestly, I could talk about PAX all friggin' day. Which is kind of why I started up a stream, because I'm too excited to... I'm too excited to keep my thoughts to myself. So I may as well start a stream so I can rant about it while playing some video games. You know, as you do. Alright, let me just get this project onto my other monitor and we should be ready to go. Alright, so yeah, this is a game I'm playing in my free time. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, if you want me to go back to Horizon Zero Dawn, also let me know whether you're in the comments on YouTube or if you're here in the chat right now. But yeah, this is what I've been playing in my free time. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I beat the uh, Deep Jungle area, so we're back at the Coliseum for the second time. Um, you know, just standard stuff. Um, I was actually about to check on my items. Holy crap, Donald, you need some stuff. You need some potions, my friend. And then we'll give you the mega potions. And then we'll give you the elixir as well. I suppose a mega ether as well. I guess that'll be useful. Uh, abilities. Can I anything for you? You're all spent. And you have one left, but I can't even use it. Uh, if I can increase Goofy's AP by like one. That would be nice. All 
All right, so that looks like that then. What about your Joker cosplay? Yeah, I actually have my um, calling card business cards printed. I just got these yesterday. Uh, let me switch sources. Oh, sorry about that, but it to be the camera could focus. Uh, hold on a second. Come on. Well, it might be hard to see, but I have those. And then on the back, without giving out my actual name, uh, believe me when I say that it says content creator below where my finger is, but I'm not going to put my last name out there. So, yeah, uh, that's what those look like. So I'm going to be giving those out to people. Hoping to get some more indie dev collab uh, collaborations going. I already know your last name. Yeah. Although, as a kid, I was raised not to put my personal information out there. So, if you know my last name, don't tell people. Well, I mean, it's not like don't tell people, like, oh my god, super secret. But, like, you know, don't post any chat, I suppose. Because I don't want to get, like, doxxed or anything. All right. I won't. I trust you. You are a certified good boy. Alright, so we're gonna go back into this tournament. You know the rules, Mr. Hermit. Did you wanna enter Phil Cup? Oh, that's right. Huh, it's that character that's played by Danny DeVito. I like being a certified good boy. Me too. Jungle Vice? Oh, cause monkey. Hello, you're all going to die now. Hoi, Danny! Yeah, Goofy, we know. You committed tax evasion. Monkey and magic. What's up? The audio works. Yeah, um, not sure what was going on. I suddenly switched the thing off and on, or I guess it magically started working. I don't know what happened. Thankfully, uh, my mod, Ben, wait, I mean, you guys know who Ben is, but he has a test channel, so I just did stuff there, and he told me what the heck was wrong, so. Thankfully, I was able to get that figured out. Big feet? Well, you know what they say about big feet. Big socks, or something, I don't know. What? I, I never understood that joke, to be honest. I'm always like, you know what they say about Bigfoot? Don't you mean big feet? They tell you he's not real, but I've seen him. Hey, monkey, could you like not? Oh, Peter's gonna hate me for this one. That's the power of the keyblade. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub! That's the first time I've ever had that uh, notification go off. So, thanks for letting me know that that notification sound actually works. Wow, uh, yeah, thank you for the two months. Let's see, screw PETA, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I felt dumb. I felt like referencing um, Kermit Sings, like that one video from Jax Films. Um, I don't know why. The boss coming up is frustrating to say the least. Attack his butt! Bum rush him. You know, if this guy could not stand in a corner, that'd be friggin' nice. Yeah, I nailed it. Bum rush him literally. Exactly. When in doubt, aim for the buttocks. Hard hitters? Oh god. 
Uh... Oh wow, that got rid of a lot. Perfection. Perfect. That is amazing. Let's see. Oh god, two of these things. I hate these things. There we go. Kinda running out of healing items. Come on. Alright, what's this one? Jeez. So many of these. Attack the feet! Keep your fetishes away from me! Attack the toes! Oh god, it's this thing. I believe this was the... Uh, what was it? It was the boss of the deep jungle, if I'm not mistaken. Or, no, no, that was the, uh... Boss of Traverse Town. Yeah, it was the boss of Traverse Town. It was. That's where all the pieces came from. It seemed weird seeing them in like an out of uh, boss context. Alright, we did it. Whoop de doo. Alright, now can we face the boss? Because that'd be friggin' awesome. I'm a novice hero. Hooray. Attain the power of stars. I learned... I couldn't even read that. Never thought you'd do it! Not bad! Don't pretend you're not happy. Kid, you got a long way to go. Next round's starting soon. Next time it'll be the real thing. I don't know why I sound like a smoker, but whatever. Uh... Goofy's out of... Oh my god, they're out of items already? Uh... Yeah, we'll give you a high potion. We'll give you a mega ether. Yeah, why not? Um, I believe we increase max AP. So now we have the ability to add. What can we add? What do we not have so far? Oh, tech boost increases tech points obtained by parrying enemy attacks. I think the boss is coming up. Yeah. All right, well. We'll equip that. Yeah. Uh, you still have nothing. You are still worthless. Um, yeah, that's pretty radical. Alright, well, we got nothing better to do, so let's go fight this thing. Uh... What, isn't... I guess this is the next cup, then? I... I don't understand. Why enter alone? Is it just the same thing, but with Sora only? Oh, it totally is. What? Crap. I didn't think this through. Yeah, you could show off your sore skill. More like lack thereof.
Let's get a bit of... I can't even summon anything. Why can't I attack? Oh, that's right. Ah, these menus are friggin' stupid! What do you mean? Well, like I said, lack thereof when it comes to Sora skill. Um, wow, that was awful. Let's see. Uh, okay. Well, now what? Oh, wait, it says that the next tournament's coming up. So it hasn't actually started yet. Okay. Oh, it has the rankings. Hey, there we go. Can I use green yet? No. Alright. So far, we can only use red and blue unity circles. So... Yeah, that's what I was checking. Uh, where can we go now, actually? We have the warp poles. Although, I kind of want to go to Traverse Town just to, um... Just for the sake of getting some more items. Because we have the money. And yes, I know my gummy ship looks like a pile of crap. Don't act like it doesn't. Uh, where did the guy go? Kinda need to sell my crap. Uh, I think it's in here that you can- Yeah, okay, this is the item shop. Yeet. Oh god, no, I don't even know what that was. To me, it looks like a Lego thing. It kind of is. But, like, it isn't, you know? Uh, how do I sell old gear? Because, like, Goofy has a shield I don't need anymore. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go with... Regular po- hmm. I'm tempted to buy that shield, not gonna lie. And then we already have the Warhammer for Donald. I would say makes sense, but it kinda doesn't. Like, I can understand what you mean, because putting together the gummy ships is like Legos, but... It's hard to explain. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we're gonna buy some more potions. And then we're gonna... Mm. You know what, I'm gonna see if we already have the stout shield. Just so I can be... Okay, he has the smasher. And the knight shield. Now can I sell that shield? Yes. Okay. It changes nothing. It... It changes literally no stats. Well, that was useless. Uh, I guess it's effective against attack, so... But there isn't even a defense stat, I don't think. Oh, well, there is, but it's, I don't know. That's really dumb. All right. Well, you're going to be our healer. All right. Back into the world we go. We're going to check out those weird uh, buttholes in space. Come on, don't, that's exactly what black holes are. Stephen Hawking's not around to prove me wrong. Wait a minute. Blue. Orange. Oh my god, this is literally Portal. <laughs> Alright, let's go. But yeah, it's just my ship. You got that random tire on the side. It's like, 
I don't I don't understand my own thought process. Also, I can't skip through this either. This is apparently mandatory, which is dumb. Portal, but big. Indeed. Tis moy big. I hate this point in the game. Yeah. Or this part of the game. Yeah, it is kind of just boring. My least favorite world has to be uh, Wonderland. Because, like, it's just... I don't know why. Just playing through Wonderland gave me a headache. Like, I really do appreciate the reference, especially since uh, I performed through the Looking Glass in high school, but it's just so confusing. It's all over the place. Happens to me every single time, yeah. Oh, there's the, there's the space, the space hole. Going in. What the hell is this? Can I attack it? No, I cannot. We. Wow, they all kind of just lined up to die. This is a fever dream. It honestly is. Let's get hyped for PAX East. Hell yeah. That is what we're here to do, my friend. Thank you for joining the stream, by the way. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Correct me if I'm wrong. But thanks for joining. Should that guy be spamming the stream title? Saw this on Discord. I guess it's fine. Uh, don't spam it too much, though. Like, the way you did it just now, like, is okay, because it's only a couple times, but don't, like... Don't do it, like, a million times, you know? Ha, <laughs> nice. Thanks for redeeming the, uh, 420 joke. I noticed that a lot of other streamers had uh, 420 for the meme, so I decided to join the uh, to join the trend, I guess. Oh, it looks like we're in Agrabah. I love you too, uwu. I see those heart emojis. So, for those unfamiliar uh, with Agrabah, this is from Aladdin. I guess if the font and uh, title design right there wasn't there enough, or and wasn't enough to explain. The heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. Yeah, whatever, Jafar. We're gonna so kick your butt later. Ah, uh, Polly want a cracker. Princess is there another castle. Everywhere for Jasmine. She disappeared like magic. Why is this bird Italian? There's more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? Because she's the key to kicking with your her butt? No, without her. Surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. I think it's weird that they say that, find yet Alice counts as one of the princesses of heart. She's not even a Disney princess officially. So that's a kind of a weird inconsistency with Disney's branding. is touching but hardly necessary okay they literally could not see her behind that pile of watermelons you've got to be kidding me right now 
All right. So now we've got these heartless with interesting turbans. We're really staying true to the design, I gotta say. Mega Potion. Perfect. Oh, thank you, Nightbot, for advertising the fact that people can follow. I try not to be in your face about it, which I think is something a lot of uh, creators miss out on. Like, they're so, like, they're willing to go with the trend of saying, oh, like and subscribe, blah, 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 but, like, I, I don't think it's just ethical, you know? Because people are kind of just desensitized to hearing that, so... By just leaving the option out there for someone to just look at... Like, you can occasionally remind someone, but... Don't make it your freaking catchphrase, you know? Alright, going to the main street. Oh yay, more murder! Did I just find a secret area? Oh, safe point. Nice. Oh, this is Aladdin's house. Ooh, keyhole. A gate opens somewhere. See, what else can we find around here? That takes you to the plaza, so let's go there. Okay, this is where we just were. Perfect. And we just use this as a little bit of a sky bridge. That was unexpected. That was close. Almost fell off. Obtained a cottage. Wow. I wish real estate was that easy. What's with all these spades on the wall? That is weird. Obtain dark matter. Now, if only science was that simple. Now that is free real estate. You're damn right. Also, I like how the pot just breaks when I touch it. Just the basic physical contact makes it destroy itself. All right, what's this? Because we know that Jasmine was hiding right there. Nathan. Hey, 
Where do we actually go? Oh, are we supposed to go back up there? Money. Yeah, I don't know why they did it either. It's kind of just weird how they used a different pronunciation of money for the word. I don't even know. Squeenix is very weird. Uh, were we not just here? Uh, oh wait, who is you? Oh, this guy is a shop, okay. Okay, so he gets you your items. Which is nice. Don't have enough money, okay. That's useful. Uh... I mean, I won't save there because I don't really need to, but... Let's see, Main Street Plaza. So I'm gonna do this again. Because repetitious repetition is really repetitive, in case you didn't know. Yes, I'm being sarcastic, can't you tell? I have such a big smile on my face that it's so incredibly obvious. Okay, now I just sound like an asshole. <laughs> Alright, so we're just in the desert. There's a Persona 5 joke I want to make right here, but nobody would get it. So, where do we go? Where? Yeah, like... What? How the... <laughs> what kind of witchcraft? What kind of witchcraft is this? Are we supposed to go to the desert? Considering how we can't really do anything about this? Fire! It's wood, why can't we burn it? I want to play Persona 5. Oh my god. It is such a good game. I can't tell you how great Persona 5 is. Jasmine, my father is the Sultan Sutan. I have a guy whose name is Sutan, so. Or I have a guy, I know a guy. Um, yeah. That makes you a princess. He's been deposed by Jafar. Jafar? Yeah, not too close. Gained evil powers. The keyhole. You were hiding nearby, but you left a while ago to take care of something. Hope Aladdin's all right. Nah, he might be dead. Where might I find this street rat? Oh, what's up? Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Yeah, maybe Just once he gets a facelift. The boy who holds the key. Mega potion and a keyhole. Not to be confused with the keyhole to the world. Uh, looks like we have another place to go. So in terms of Pax East to those in chat that are going, what's everyone hoping to do? Like, are you hoping to play some games? Or are you hoping to... Uh, see certain booths. Like, what's everyone all excited for? I guess I'll start off by saying, like, I was originally excited for Sony. 
Uh, cause they were gonna have Persona 5 Royal, and I am just... Ugh, I can't wait for that game so much. Um... Let's see... What else was I excited for? A lot of indie titles. Cause there's always something interesting in the Mega Booth. Hoping to play some games, meet some creators, and see you again. I can't wait to see you too, buddy. It's been way too long. What else is there to do at PAX? Um, oh, Bethesda Game Days. I'm hoping to check that out, because I never got to go to that last year. Uh, and I hear that's usually a good time. Get to try out Doom Eternal. Uh, let's see. Um, there was, like, something else happening at Bethesda Game Days. I forget what uh, game it was. Although, I am still upset that we've gotten nothing about Elder Scrolls 6. Like, they showed it off at E3 like a year or two ago, and then we just never heard anything about it. So, I really want them to say something about it. Okay, so we're back in Aladdin's house. Okay, so maybe we need to, like, hit a switch to open that door? Because I don't know where else to go. Just remember, guys, backseat gaming is allowed, so if you've played this before and I'm stuck like I am now, feel free to give me any kind of advice in the chat. That's Aladdin's house again. Uh, here's a treasure chest. Mega Ether. Okay, that's useful. Uh, Ethan, you said you wanted to see some creators. Uh, are there any specific creators you're looking out for? I mean, I know you want to see me, but... I'm, I mean, like, you know, the big creators, you know? Like, I'm sure you have, like, your favorite YouTuber or something. Where else can I jump? I really don't know where to go. Not really sure who's going. That's a good point. Who actually is going? Because I know that I'm gonna hopefully see the Runaway guys again, because I saw them last year. They're pretty cool dudes. Um, who else did I see? Uh, one of my favorite streamers couldn't make it. Uh, they have a different event to go to. Uh, Rosemary, who, um, she has casting, like, broadcasting for Pokemon, Hearthstone, Overwatch. Uh, she was supposed to make it, but, uh, she couldn't. Uh, who's actually going? I honestly don't remember who else is going. Hoping to see new, interesting indie games. Yeah, I, honestly, I have found so many fun games in the Mega Booth. It just makes you think, like, how have these not released, you know, how have these not been, you know, popular upon release? Because, you know, when you think indie, you see things like Undertale, you see things like, um, Hollow Knight, like, those are the big ticket indies, like, those were smash hits. 
But there are indie games that are just as good as those that are released in a similar way, yet they're kind of unheard of. Ah, uh, where do I go? I bet to anybody that's actually played this before, I look like a total idiot. But I legitimately have no idea how to play this game. Hoping Ubisoft is there with Rainbow Six Quarantine. Personally, I've never played Rainbow Six, but... Um, oh, I suppose that'd be pretty cool for Rainbow Six fans. Uh, which way am I going? Crap. Uh... Oh, I was just up there. Oh, hey. Yeah, I get over here. Murder. Murder. Remember, kids, murder is okay if it's in a video game. And they always tell you life is a game. Let's hope it's not as bad as the last one. I mean, was Rainbow Six bad, though? I mean, once again, not familiar with it. I heard Siege, uh, got a lot of popularity. Playing it right now. Dang. Playing games while watching a streamer? You're a pretty good multitasker, not gonna lie. He do be looking kind of fresh, though. I wanna open the box! Uh, I have to use the unity circle, don't I? Thanks. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll save here, because why not? Vegas and Vegas 2 broke the mold for the Rainbow Six games. People didn't like it. Interesting. It's weird how people always say they want something different from a publisher, and then they actually commit to making something different, and then people are like, no, this sucks. Like, it's so hypocritical. It's honestly disrespectful to some of the publishers. It's like they work hard to bring you all these like immersive experiences and then suddenly you know you go back at the people that made what you wanted them to make uh let's see where am i going is there a way up around here Oh, there we go. Ah, crap. Hit the wrong button. Why is my jump button not working? This is weird. Come on. It is basic platforming. There we go. Uh, this way. This is the alley. Nope, kill the pot.
I mean, am I even supposed to be doing anything in here? I'm excited for quarantine. I hope it's good. Well, I hope that it's good for your sake. You seem very excited about this, and reasonably so. Aladdin's house. What about this way? It doesn't work. Uh, yeet. Well, this sucks. What am I supposed to do now? I've never been this confused about where to go, ever. A caps lock by accident. Ha! LMAO, am I right, kids? Hold up. I just got word of something. Tom Nook said trans rights? Okay, well, Animal Crossing New Horizons apparently has no gender options, so... I guess if you're an advocate for... Uh, that... There you go. I don't know why I got word of this just now, but... Yeah, I support. I kinda just... I... Emotionally, I just support whatever, you know? I... I'm a go-with-the-flow kind of person. So people are like, trans rights, I'm like... Ah. Nice. Or if people say, hey, we have equality, I'll be like, hey, gnarly, dude. Ha! I sound like that fish from Spongebob. Dance, he showed me how I died. Ha! That sounded awful. <laughs> God, everywhere it takes us to Aladdin's house. My God. That's the plaza. That takes me to Main Street. What if we go into the desert? Will that... Will that do anything? Because now the carpet was released into the desert, so maybe it'll tell us where to go? There we go. Sup, carpet. No, Aladdin. Good old Robin Williams. I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon Please, the- kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp! Rub it up dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin! Congratulations! I'm a rush! 
Patience, <laughs> my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split. A lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. Ooh, he likes a girl. She's a princess. And I'm... Ah, uh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. Alright, so I think we're gonna put Aladdin in place of... Goofy. We're gonna see how that goes. I wanna look at his abilities first. Doors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie? It's a promise. After we help Jasmine. Like, couldn't he just wish for all the keyholes to be patched up and then boom, game's over? Couldn't he just wish for infinite wishes to solve all of these problems? Exactly! But are people ever smart enough to think of that? No! Because that would be too simple. Main street. Well, where else do we even go? Oh, do we go to Aladdin's house? This genie would sound a lot better if it was Robin Williams. I thought it was Robin Williams. Is Dan he reprise his role in the game? It's Dan Castella Castellaneta. Oh my god, that's a big name. All right, let's look at this guy, Aladdin. So jump straight up to attack overhead enemies. Strike at enemies while charging through them. Increases the summons MP gauge. Yeah, giving them more time and attacks per battle. Contract nearby HP and MP. 
Raises luck so that enemies drop rare items more often. That's useful. And then Jackpot, receive more money and HP in battle. Increases odds of dealing critical damage. I think we can get rid of Jackpot just to get critical plus. I think that would be more useful. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining. How's it going? What does he got? He has a sword. Protect chain, fire ring. Radical. Okay. Uh, where are we going next? Plaza. Or main street. I believe it's plaza that we're going to. I guess it's plausible. Any of the main voices don't do the games. Like, what is Tom Hanks' brother in the Kingdom Hearts games? Really? I didn't even know Tom Hanks had a brother. Try going to storage then? Nothing? Nothing at all? Good, how about you? I am hyped for PAX East. That is just how my whole life has been recently. It's just all about it's it's been all about PAX East and just ah, I can't wait. Uh hold up a second. I'll be right back. All right, so it's getting to be about dinner time for me over here. So what I'm going to do, um, this is not the end of my streams for today, but uh, I'm going to cut the stream for like maybe a little under an hour, and then I'll be back to play some more uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we could stream for like an hour more. Hi for my VR headset shipping back. Had some tracking issues. After we finally shipping back, that's great. Nice. I definitely want to hear more about that when I get back. So, uh, I guess come back in like an hour. If you still want to watch me play some Kingdom Hearts or talk to me about packs or anything in between. So, for now, I'm going to throw a host over to a friend. So, see ya soon.